I particularly want to recognise the contribution of the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra over the last number of uh, years in engaging more and more here in Indonesia. It's also nowadays increasingly recognised how absolutely vital the creative economy is in order to sustain the arts and culture, but to use them. So this is the NSO's fifth visit to Indonesia, which demonstrates their long-standing commitment to building meaningful relationships between our neighbouring countries. We sincerely value platforms such as this to not only share our expertise and experience, but to hear and learn from others. We we'll also like to extend our gratitude to the government of Australia for organising this event, as well as to the Australian Embassy for hosting this very important workshop. I'm also glad that here in the audience there's representative from so many key players in the creative industry, especially performing arts and music. We asked the students to prepare a slow movement from a Mozart to Bertimento, and this is a work that's very familiar to, to us as professionals. And we managed to say everything we needed to say to give them the tools to then go back and be musicians that can solve problems. I got many a new knowledge, new skills from the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra during the master class. What surprised me the most was how quickly they understood, even with the language barrier, what we were trying to do for them and the looks on their faces when they realised what it was we were giving them and how it made them sound, that was the most incredible thing about today. These, these sessions actually much more enlighten our, our communities being glued together through arts and culture. That's how uh, we, uh, we are as uh, neighbours can, can build a mutual understanding. I'd like to honour the Sultan Hamenkubono X, who had a dream, a vision of bringing two countries, two regions together through music. Every time we do these exchanges, there's a, a lot of learning on both sides, and we're always proud to share our knowledge. It's really a story of friendship, collaboration, and growing relationship through music, of course. <laughs>